Hey guys, welcome. I'm back out at the range today. Uh, two per, actually three purposes. First purpose is to uh, try out the uh, new Mission First tactical uh, muzzle device. Secondary to that, I'll be sighting in my scope because number three, I am actually taking uh, part in the 2021 Cabin Fever Fever contest. Oh my gosh, fever! Anyway, so I'm doing some shooting today, and uh, first I'm going to get the rifle scope uh, sighted in, and. Uh, <coughs> Hopefully uh, I can get that zeroed with as the least amount of shots as possible. And at the same time, I'll be testing out the muzzle brake. So let's stay tuned, guys. <clears throat> All right, we are zeroing at 100 yards. Everything is dialed. And uh, we're going to take our first shot and see where we land. I'm at zero right now. That is high right. I'm going to pull out the glasses and see where that last one hit. Ooh, that's right in the center, actually. So, <clears throat> muzzle brake feels good. I don't know how it looks on your end, but let's check out that last shot. My first one, I think I just pulled it a little bit. Yeah, I think my uh, scope is a little bit better. We're on safe. Finger off the trigger. Yeah, that is uh, right in the bullseye. Probably at the 4 o'clock position, so it's not totally, totally <clears throat> in there. I'm going to drop the mag, and I'll reset the scope, and maybe take one more shot. All right. Eyes on, ears on. Scope adjusted. up in my position safety off here we go Let's see if I'm dialed all the way to 12 which I am Drop the mag, see the position, mag back in. All right, safety on, last mag. Safety off. <sighs> All right, clear. Hey guys, welcome back to Mintac. This is Chris. It has been too long since my last video. I've been uh, crazy busy with this place, uh, building a patio, fire pit, doing some stonework, and so it's been just uh, nuts around here, so I apologize for that, but uh, you guys have been waiting for this review for probably quite some time, and I've had some availability. This is like uh, late winter, early spring, I went out and did some testing 
on uh, <clears throat> the Mission First Tactical uh, muzzle device. Bottom line is that I love this thing. It is tiny but mighty. And so let's again, let's go over a quick, yeah, you can probably see it better with the, that folded down. So let's just get up a little close and personal. Um, <clears throat> this muzzle device, the uh, benefits of it over an A2 muzzle device, the A2 muzzle device has like five slots just on top. Nothing really on the sides too much, whereas the Mission First Tactical has two big lateral slots, and you can see those, and it has four top mounted slots and so I found that uh, in testing the A2 compared to the Mission First Tactical this really mitigated the lateral movement so anything uh, any gas is escaping back and forth on the uh, um, <clears throat> the regular birdcage type type muzzle device you still got that lateral flex with it whereas with the uh, MFT Mission First Tactical device those slots on the side really mitigated that lateral movement and then uh, on top of that when you have the uh, four four slots on top and they're not just they're not huge but they're big enough to force that muzzle downward and uh, if you guys anything know if if you guys know anything about 22 nosler um, you know that there's uh, a little bit more powder packed into each cartridge and so there's more velocity a little bit more recoil and so this muzzle device is actually able to mitigate that those gases very well um, both out to the side laterally and from a uh, from a top-down perspective so it kept the muzzle rise from uh, you know getting too out of control so again this uh, I was pretty impressed with it and uh, I would have to say that as far as muzzle, vi uh, muzzle devices are concerned, this is probably my second favorite so far on top of the Strike Industries King Comp. Um, I'm liking it for the price. I think it was around 32 or 38 somewhere in that range dollars. Uh, you really can't go wrong if you're looking for a uh, muzzle device that is uh, goes above and beyond your standard for birdcage. So anyway, so just again, just a little bit of a close up I know I showed this before on the install video but uh, <clears throat> yeah you can't go wrong with the price quality is excellent the finish on it is uh, fantastic and uh, I would buy another one um, so we'll see maybe on uh, a future build or maybe if I decide to swap out another uh, mu muzzle device on one of my current guns I'll do that but anyway stay tuned I've got quite a few things coming up one is uh, doing a review on a cheap weapons light for a pistol. It is uh, LA Police Gear's um, equivalent of Streamlight's TLSR-1, I believe it is. And so I'm going to do a review of that. And then uh, I just picked up a number of weeks ago, I've been testing it out, working with it. I've been working with the Mantis X2, which is a dry fire system. And so I've been getting a lot of practice with that and uh, really really liking that so far as far as a uh, dry fire type uh, type device can't go wrong with that I'm gonna do a review for you guys full video expect that here pretty soon um, let's see what else do I got there's one more thing that um, I planned on doing that I have a uh, gun mat maybe um, I've got a 1911 gun mat the company that puts that out uh, quality stuff for a great price and so I'll review that too and stay tuned, more videos to come. Sorry about the hiatus. Like I said, it's been crazy busy getting ready for a graduation this year, one of my sons. That's uh, two out of the four is going to be, you know, living life on their own, making their own money, all that good stuff. So anyway, you guys take care. Have an awesome week and uh, look forward to the next video.